My name is Ellen Ramsey and I am a tapestry weaver from Seattle, Washington. Tapestry has been my primary form of expression for 20 years. As an artisan, my creative lineage stems from the French tapestry tradition. Here I am on a recent trip to Paris. I first became interested in tapestry after participating in a study abroad program. I was blown away by the medieval and renaissance tapestries I saw in Europe and I became determined to learn the craft. In the 80s, there were two active tapestry workshops in the United States. The Schuer Tapestry Studio in New York City was founded by American Ruth Schuer in 1982. She studied tapestry technique at Les Manufacturies des Gobelins in Paris and taught her apprentices to weave like the French. I learned to weave tapestry from Mary Lane, who was a founding member and the director of education at the Schuer Tapestry Studio. Here she is today with my tapestry, OB-1, the piece that is in Fiber 2020. I was fortunate to study with Mary for three years in the late 90s. Gobelin technique is done on an upright loom. French weavers weave with the back of the tapestry facing them. To see the front of the tapestry, the weaver looks in a mirror that is held in front of the beam on a stand. Here's a picture of my studio. On the work in progress, a paper cartoon hangs behind the warp to serve as a guide. It is attached to a bar that lowers easily when I need to see my progress in the mirror. Tapestries are not woven selvage to selvage. Each color area is built separately in shapes, like placing bricks in a wall. The bobbins are passed between the warps as shuttles. The pointy tips are used to pack the weft into place as a beater. Obi-Wan was inspired by a trip to Japan in 2014. I fell hard for the graphic beauty of the lotus pond in decay. I found the crisscrossing diagonal lines created by the projecting stems and their reflections in the water to be visually arresting. For this series of work, I used photos as the starting point for my designs. Here is the photo that served as the source for Obi-Wan. I manipulated this image quite extensively in Photoshop to develop the cartoon. I collaged together the visual elements in layers on the computer and blew it up to scale. The piece ended up being 36 inches wide and 42 inches tall. To make my cartoon, I traced the lines on clear mylar and flipped it over to reverse the image for weaving from the back. Not all designs need to be reversed, but I preferred it in this case. Obi-Wan was woven on its side. The black cotton threads you see spanning between the panels are the warps. Wooden sticks were inserted above and below each panel to hold the space. Here is what Obi-Wan looked like after it was cut from the loom. With the wooden sticks removed, you can see how the open warps hold it all together. The theme for this series is the experience of time. The Lotus Pond in Decay serves as the visual equivalent for the fading of memories. The stalks and pods are just reminders of the beauty that once was. Here is another work in this same series. This one is called Satori, which is the Japanese word for sudden comprehension. The Lotus Tapestries are all about capturing the emotional qualities of time. And here is another one. This one is called Flux and was inspired by a line in the poem, I Am Time by B.J. Kent Dubay. Life in a flux, the world in a flux, everything but in mass and matter is the same, but the shape of things continues to change. Although not the size or proportion of a garment, the shape of Obi-Wan is a nod to the textile heritage of Japan. An obi is a belt that secures a kimono. You might be wondering if it is also a tongue-in-cheek reference to Star Wars. I will confess, there is no obi 2. Of all the work in this series, obi 1 is my favorite. It has a cinematic quality. Each panel is like a scene from a fragmented past, connected yet disconnected, just like our most distant memories tend to be. Thank you, Silvermine Gallery, for your work to promote Fiber 2020 during the lockdown. You can see more of my work and read my blog on my website at www.ellenramseytapestry.art or follow me on social media 
at Ellen Ramsey Tapestry.